three advantages, three disadvantages of the conversion kit, e-bike conversion kit. Why do we do it? We do it in order to commute guys in the city which are crowded with so much traffic. Use your bikes and if you don't want to get sweat too much because you are a businessman, businesswoman you or you are living in the very hilly terrain it would be difficult for you to do uh, daily commuting e-bike is the thing so let's start with three disadvantages and three, and three advantages three disadvantages first number one this is a conversion so the bike will look like it looks like this is the Canada bad boy a pretty good commuter it in itself it looks like uh, love it or hate it but you will see some cables on the frame you will see the motor here which uh, isn't super integrated with the frame the battery is not integrated with the frame obviously you have some neoprene uh, protectors covers for the cables you can see all that this is a conversion uh, it will be seen that your your bicycle uh, was converted to e-bike disadvantage number two this is a conversion means somebody has to make the whole process this operation of converting your bike into the uh, e-bike and so if you don't feel comfortable with tools if you don't know how to remove the bottom bracket if you don't know how to route the cables for your uh, rear derailleur or your rear brake don't do it yourself uh, you can buy the set uh, and send it or just drive to your local store which already has made some of these conversions and let them do it it will cost you i think just about 100 dollars more or less uh, but if you don't feel comfortable with all the things uh, i'm telling you don't do it yourself uh, and disadvantage number three this is a conversion <laughs> means it won't be compatible with all the bikes the most simple normal kind of uh, cross fitness mountain bikes just normal frames nothing nothing crazy here uh, it will be just okay but you need to make sure that number one your battery will fit into the frame number two the motor this is the central motor i'm going to show you other conversions too but this is the central motor uh, it might not be compatible with your bottom bracket shell so ask the seller what you should or the, the story which is selling this what should you know about your frame what should you measure they will tell you uh, and the motor may not be compatible with your cable routing and the bike i bought was the worst bike to make this conversion so in part one linked in the description you can see how many problems i uh, came upon and i'm happy about this one because now i realize okay this might not be that easy okay so three disadvantages the look of the bike you might see it as as disadvantage for me it's okay it's a commuter number two you need to do it yourself or uh, let the a uh, professional uh, bike store do it and number three this conversion kit might not be compatible will not be compatible with, with all frames for sure so you need to know what kind of bottom bracket you have what's the width of the bottom bracket what's the geometry uh, of the frame so that you will fit in uh, the battery okay so there are three disadvantages three advantages economics in two ways uh, using a conversion e-bike converted e-bike is way more economical uh, in the city than driving the car I love my car uh, but there is no point in uh, driving the car in a crowded city guys use the bikes it's much more economical but also it's um, the conversion is much uh, much more economic than buying an e-bike like a ready e-bike with a frame which has been designed for the motor and the battery now the batteries are getting integrated everything is getting integrated it will be much cheaper so this is the cheapest way to commute and be fast that's the e-bike conversion the second advantage of it is that this is fully reversible so if you convert your bike into any bike 
you can go back to your normal bike anytime you want. I mean, you wouldn't be doing it like once a week. Okay, now I'm, I want an e-bike, now I want a lightweight commuter or fitness bike. No, I just mean this is this is reversible. Like, like you can go, go back and not, nothing bad happens to your frame set, to your bike, to your wheels or anything. And then advantage number three is that you choose what type of motor you want to have. This is the 250 watts. This is a street legal bicycle, uh, but without a gas, so without additional throttle. Uh, and you can also choose between different batteries. Uh, the battery guru I mounted on this one uh, is huge. Uh, you can you can have like up to 100. 50 or 60 percent of the Shimano battery capacity it can also be lower so if you're on a budget buy the cheapest one it will still be great for everyday commuting like if you need to do like 50 kilometers a day it will be no problem for for the smallest battery uh, with this kit okay so this is the cheapest way to get from point A to B and have some fun on the way number two you can always get back to your normal bike and number three, this is more customizable. You can opt for 250 watts, 750 watts, 1000 watts, that would be on the rear wheel. And the batteries, different batteries, options, great thing. Okay, now what about this one? This is the Rapid Mid 250. Um, it's strong, strong point is that this is a silent one. It's um, more silent than the Shimano Steps uh, 8000 I have on my number of bikes right now. Uh, but it's not as powerful. So it's not about the power because Shimano Steps is street legal bicycle. It's 250 watts. This is 250 watts. But the torque on Shimano will be considerably higher. So if I gave you this bike and my, let's say, my yellow B on the Shimano Steps, and if I told you this was 250 watts, how much watts, uh, watts would be on my steps? You would say, I don't know, maybe three times this one because it is much stronger. It, it has higher, higher torque. Shimano Steps has also the 7000 e-bike group set, which have same power as 8000, but lower torque. I don't know what's the, what's the number here. What, what kind of torque uh, are we talking about on the Rapid 250? But it's lower. It will also be more economic for your battery, so you can you can ride longer on the motor which has less torque, but you won't feel that much uh, power. It's powerful enough, uh, but Shimano Steps E8000 on the boost um, mode is really fast. It feels like 1000 watts, really. Um, so with the biggest battery on this thing 200 kilometers is no problem in my opinion you would do uh, more than that um, and that's basically it uh, just make sure this the kit will fit to your bike uh, you can have the, the biggest battery for those who want to ride long distance the smallest battery will be just enough for commuting yet the bike will be heavier but it's still okay and yet the good news also is that you can just use the bike you already have so you just buy the kit and put it on your bike make sure it fits there you go three advantages three disadvantages guys let's use bicycles in the cities if you don't want to use normal bikes maybe you are older maybe you have problems with your joints maybe you had some heart operation and the doctor said that you should be doing some moderate cycling e-bike is the thing for you for losing weight e-bike all the way because uh, if you are overweight uh, maybe even obese you are in not very good shape e-bike will let you have the fun from riding you will be able to ride up the hills and still the pump is working the muscles are working the blood is flowing it is super healthy for everyone there we go, rapid uh, mid 20, 250 watts kit conversion. The next one will be 1000 watts rear wheel conversion. That's it.